My name is Dr Ben Sessa. I am a psychiatrist from England. That is, I have an MD. I specialise in child and adolescent psychiatry and I also have eight years experience in the field of psychedelic research. Why do I study psychedelics? Well, prim primarily the answer to that question is because I'm a psychiatrist and I believe that psychedelics offer the best treatment options for my patients. So I first came to psychedelics as a teenager um, with an interest in the music and literature and the recreational scene surrounding psychedelics. So when I got to medical school, I was well aware of psychedelic research in the 50s and 60s. I looked up LSD in my medical textbooks and I found nothing. Or I found statements saying LSD is a dangerous drug of abuse. I decided as a trainee in 2005 to write an article to try and redress the balance here and bring psychedelics back into med medical education in the UK. Um, the article was published in the um, British Journal of Psychiatry. It was the first such uh, piece on psychedelics for 40 years, and that really kick-started my career interest. I've come to realise that psychedelic-assisted psychotherapy is the only a treatment, treatment that I've come across that could effectively take a person back to their early childhood years and allow them to access repressed painful memories. And I think that if this process is done in a careful, planned, prepared, skillful and facilitative environment, it offers my patients the best opportunity to really find a way out of their problems. I'm most impressed by MDMA. I think if one were to invent a hypothetical drug best suited to facilitate trauma-focused psychotherapy, it would be MDMA. So, together with my colleagues Professor David Nutt and Professor John Bisson in the UK, we've designed an MDMA project um, for Cardiff University in Wales. We're acutely aware of the lack of resources in the UK to provide male-female pairs, so we're going to see if we can do this with a single therapist. Well, for me, a really important part of, of these conferences is the networking that goes on. For me, it's a big part of hooking up with all the crew, seeing Rick and the people from Hefter and Beckley and Johns Hopkins and Franz and Amanda and everyone else. So it's a great chance just to meet the, all these people again and spend some time with them. Psychedelic research is such a fascinating subject. It's so broad. I don't think there's any other subject that touches so many different areas and disciplines. I mean... For me, it's obviously about medicine, but there's chemistry, botany, art, literature, music, sociology, politics, anthropology, neuroscience, and of course, partying and going out to raves. So psychedelics has it all. I'm really looking forward to coming to Psychedelic Science in 2013. Look forward to seeing you then.